Please subscribe and share this video with your friends. It's Marnie Batista here from Dating with Dignity, and I am here in the dating den with a one in a million <laughs> man. Dot com. James Swanick, hello. Hello, Marnie. Great to be here. I am so happy to be here uh, with you. So, ladies, you know that I sort of am over delivering. I'm just dishing up hot guys who know about dating, <laughs> and so this is my gift to you here this season of love and abundance. <laughs> um, so, James. Money. James is a dating expert. He has a great product called oneinamillionman.com. Uh, he's actually single and he's really smart and he's gonna answer this really important question. Yeah, my mom doesn't want me to be single though. I know. So if you live <laughs> in Australia, <laughs> Well, I'm just saying. Or Los Angeles. Or Los Angeles. Well. But Jill's not down with that. Okay, so how to understand men. Yeah. This, so we get asked this question a lot. So mm -hmm. I'm going to actually ask you the question behind the question. Mm -hmm. Why do you think women are so desperate that they're typing in like, what does it mean when he says that? Like, why do they want to know how... To well, understand men. We're confusing. We're men. We're supposed to be confusing, right? We say one thing, we do another, we're all over the place. I get this question all yeah. the time as well. Okay. But listen, this is what you need to know about men, okay? Because okay. I get this question a lot, like, how, how do you understand men? Number one is that men want to find one woman. It's not that they want to spread their seed to like 50 <laughs> different women all over the world, although sometimes it may seem that way. We're ultimately looking for one woman. And when you can make peace with that and you can just go, wow, that's amazing, then you can start to relax into your feminine a little bit more. Because a lot of women are like, oh, guys are always like, they're talking to me, but they've got their eye on someone else, or they're dating two or three people at a time. It's all designed so they can find that one woman who they can settle down with. Okay, so this is actually really a big foundation principle at Dating with Dignity. You might not have even known this. We, we have this limiting belief mm -hmm. that men are players, or mm -hmm. they don't want to settle down, or they just want to sleep with everyone. But what I really want you to key into here is, why do you have that belief? Because that's actually an excuse to not mm -hmm. be vulnerable, yeah. to not be open, to not give a nice guy a chance if you already ha always have your armor up. Well, there are many men like that. And uh, putting my hand up, I've been that guy. In my late 20s, around 30s, uh, early 30s, I was that guy. I was a womanizer. I was. I dated a few girls at the same time. And I lied and I cheated. I did all those kind of things. Thankfully, I've matured a lot now. I'm into the phase Thankfully. of my life where I would love to have a great relationship. And I've had great relationships. Guys are like that at a certain phase of their life, okay? And that's okay, all right? That's okay if the guy's gonna be like that. If that's not for you, then that's all right. Find someone who is. But don't put every single man into that category. I was that man, I'm no longer that man, okay? So you just wanna make sure that you are right. meeting and fraternizing and flirting with the men who are in that phase of their life who do want uh, a great loving relationship. I love this. So if you're wondering how do you tell, go look for the episode on the manimals, right? So just type that in, Dating with Dignity, manimals. Maybe it'll like magically pop up over here, other videos you like. Uh, and then you can select wisely. Okay, the other thing I think it's really important, and I struggle with this myself, mm -hmm. men need to feel like it's their choice. Yeah. They do not like a naggy, bitchy, no. controlling. No, we do not ladies. like that. Why, no. why do men need to feel like they're Because choice? men want to feel like they have their freedom. Because we're men and we want to roam the world, we want to go and do what we want to do, and we're the leaders of the pack, and we're the masters of the universe. We want to be able to own our masculinity, okay. and that means freedom. Okay. And so a woman who's coming in and going blah 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 blah, blah represents a threat to that freedom. Okay. So don't nag, don't complain. Just be positive, be open, be feminine. Let the guy have his freedom. Give him that space. Because he'll always come back to you. Okay, so here is, I'm going to be a little more specific. Okay. Because I've, I'm, some of my ladies are like, what the hell does that mean? I'm just like, <laughs> okay, King freaking Harry or whatever. Henry? Uh -huh. King Harry? Is there a King Harry? King Henry. Henry. I'm like, Harry is the king of my, my castle. No, Jeremy is. Okay, so here's the thing. You have to say these things, though. You get to have your needs. Uh -huh. It's not like you're just saying do whatever you want. No, of course not. You're having communication yeah. in which... 
you give the opportunity to your guy to make a choice. Mm -hmm. It's a nuance. It's actually a skill, right? Yeah. Don't order him around. Don't say, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. Have that conversation. Be open to him saying no to it. That's okay. okay. Here's one of my best phrases. Uh -huh. Tell me how this would land with you. Uh -huh. So in, if you have a guy and you're like, you know, he needs to make reservations or he needs to write a birthday card to his mom. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying, when are you writing a birthday card to your mom? This is what I do. So when do you see yourself making those dinner reservations? I'm just trying to plan. <laughs> it's very sneaky, but I can see inside your sneaky behavior. So I'd be kind of like, I can see what you're doing. But having said that, it would still probably trigger me to actually go and make the dinner reservations. Exactly, right? Yeah, but if you could do it in a way which was a little flirty and fun. Well, exactly. You know, right. so the delivery is also important because we can sit here all day and tell you this is the script that you should yeah, say. exactly. But it all comes down to the delivery, okay? And if you say it in a fun and flirty way, say, honey, when do you think you might get around to those uh, those dinner reservations and kind of like stroke him? Right, because like like, I've got my dress picked up. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Then the guy's going to be like, oh, damn, I'm making those dinner reservations. Right, like, know? oh, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one thing for us to say, say this. It's another thing to like deliver it in a certain way. Fun, flirtatious, feminine. We're suckers for that. I love that. And if you're not sure about if you are radiating bitch or feminine, <laughs> you can go to whatsmydefactor.com and uh, work with one of our coaches and we'll find out if you're actually a bitch don't, or you're actually don't be not. A bitch. Don't, be, don't a bitch. be a bitch. No. Um, even if even if sometimes men make you mad. Okay. <laughs> so how to understand men, ladies, the final tip. If you like, do you have a sister? I don't even know this. No, I don't have a sister. Okay. I'm the oldest of three boys. Three boys. Okay, yeah. so if you had a sister, uh -huh. what would be like the number one last tip of if you just knew this one thing about men, your life would be so much easier. Yeah, men love positive feminine women. Okay. Not the woman who complains and bitches and moans, okay, and is a little bit too masculine as well, okay? What do I mean by that? Too masculine is like always taking control. Is you making the dinner reservations? Let him do it. Let him perform his manly role and you perform your feminine role. So that's the main thing, really. It's like let the man be the man, you be the woman. Don't nag. Always love your life. Be positive because men are attracted to that positive energy. Exactly. So ladies, I guess the theme of this is sometimes we feel like we want to be in control and we're right and we could do things faster and all of those things. And that might be true. But if you want to attract a masculine alpha dog guy, listen and take advice from this guy because he's a one in a million man.com. <laughs> all right. If you want to follow us, if you want more, go to datingwithdignity.com. If you want to see pictures of food I cook and my kids, you can follow me on Instagram. I, I want to see. I want right? to eat the food that you. Cook. I know. I do not post positive, um, <laughs> like little messages. But that would be at datingwithdignity.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Marnie Batista. Where do they stalk you? Yeah, they can stalk me at one in a million man .com or my Twitter, which is at James Swanick. Okay, and I always ask this question: Are there pictures of you without your shirt on? There? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, damn. No, I'm not selling myself. Uh, maybe like that'll that. be another guest host. Okay, moi. Bye, ladies. Bye.